Over the last two years, Last Heroes have been a big part of Ophelia Records' artist uh, catalog, and they have released a lot of great singles and an EP last year, um, and they have been killing it so far this year. They released a really great song with Seven Lions and Hallion uh, named I Don't Want to Fall, and I, I really enjoy that song, and I think they've, they've been doing a great uh, job at expressing themselves through art. So they are a melodic-based duo, and they have been... Uh, teasing uh, the release of an album slash EP uh, has eight songs and they released two singles uh, with the like before releasing the full EP and today they finally released oh well, yesterday they released the, uh, the the full Finding Light EP and it, it's so uh, good it has a lot of really good influences from other genres outside of the uh, melodic bass and electronic uh, scenes and I'm going to talk a little about uh, what I loved about the CP, uh, starting with the the two singles they released uh, over the last few months, and uh, l later discussing the the newer songs and finishing off with my final thoughts about the EP about Finding Light. <laughs> So before the full release, they uh, they released two songs, one with Trove called Passing Through and one with Run uh, called Love Like Us. And these two songs are probably my favorite out of the EP. I really enjoyed them. I thought they were, uh, they were magical, uh, both with lyrics, feeling, and they're a little bit different from what we're used to uh, from Last Heroes because they, they are... Uh, they're usually known for like really strong melodic bass drops. And these two songs are a little bit more on the, you know, softer, you know, more chill side of electronic music. And that's the reason why I enjoy them so much. They're so different from what we have seen from these artists. And I love this uh, style. They try it out. I feel like it works really well. Uh, so I'm going to start with Love Like Us. This song is uh, so good. It's so chill. Uh, I love Run. She, I love everything she does. Uh, she's been making songs with like a, a bunch of electronic artists, uh, melodic bass artists. She is absolutely amazing. I think she kills it with the vocals and the lyrics. I don't know who wrote the lyrics, but I, I absolutely love them. I mean, uh, the the part about you know uh, choking with the smoke with the burning bridges. That that that, that was like probably my favorite line from the song. And I think the song works really well. This is a, a little bit heavier than the passing through, but I still I still enjoyed it. I think it's a really good uh, collaboration between Run and Last Heroes. As with passing through, this is uh, one of the softest songs in the album, and it, it works really well. Like it has a really uh, it has a really soft um, tone that works really well with Trove's voice, and it you know it, I it's really chill to just put and uh, recommend to people. I've sent it to a couple friends and they really love it too. And those were the two singles they released before the full album. And I think, um, you know, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end, like it, I did today, uh, it really like, like helps to showcase how, like the talent and vision from these two amazing artists. Time. So the album in itself uh, kind of tells a story. Uh, I think it's a really it's really well done. Um, I love the whole marketing thing they did for the album. You know, it has like a 
it kind of like sets a point uh, in the in the career of Last Heroes where we start seeing a more different songs, you know, more uh, centered around certain themes. And it plays a lot, like I said before, it plays a lot with uh, different influences. So with the new songs, uh, we have Better For It featuring Clay Finnesand, um, Atlas, Forevermore with Isaac Warburton, which is probably my favorite out of the uh, Finding Light DP, uh, In My Head with Woodlock and A Better Day. So these songs are so awesome. Um, so uh, let's start with the intro. So Daybreak has a really beautiful guitar. Uh, that's that's the thing I love the most about uh, melodic bass in general is how they uh, use instruments like guitars and pianos and violin uh, to complement like the electronic elements uh, from these uh, amazing artists and create some beautiful works of art. And I think Final Light uh, does a good job with that. Um, so uh, better for it is uh, pretty good. It's ha- it has like a uh, it has really good sound design, you know, with the drops. It reminds me a lot of uh, their earlier songs, especially the Moments EP from uh, last year. And Atlas is kind of a, it has like an uncredited, uncredited vocalist, uh, which is a shame because I really love the vocals in that uh, song. Um, so yeah, it has a really heavy part, with that, which I enjoyed a lot. Uh, Atlas is uh, super fun. Uh, and so the next two songs, well, three songs, including the outro, because A Better Day works kind of as an, as an outro. Uh, so Forevermore and In My Head, I, the thing I noticed uh, the most about these songs is the that they have kind of a country slash folk influence in them. Forevermore with Isaac Warbur- Warburton has, uh, it, you can you can kind of feel it in the vocals, like those influences, like the folk. Um, and that, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing because I love the, you know, the, the folk uh, genre as a, as a whole. Like I, I'm a really big fan and I love what they're doing with the at Affiliate Records with those influences. For example, Trivecta, uh, which is a pretty good artist, released an EP this year, which uh, kind of like sets uh, the standard for folk bass. Um, I really enjoyed what uh, Trivecta did with that EP. He had like some vocalists that really captured that um, amazing feeling he was going for. And I feel like Finding Light is kind of a continuation of that. And it works really well, especially like in my head also has some of those influences, a little bit less than, than uh, Forevermore. But it, it works really well with those with that kind of stuff, uh, and it, it all just come kind of wraps up with a better day. A better day is a beautiful kind of outro for the whole EP. Um, I love kind of I love the songwriting and that that it gets put into these songs without lyrics. Um, it really shows uh, the beauty of music as a whole, and especially like electronic music. And that's kind of like the analysis of all the songs in Finding Light. To conclude, this CP uh, is very well done. Um, I love uh, that Affiliate Records is putting out more of these um, EPs and albums um, that feature like 8 to 10, 12 songs. Uh, I really want to um, really see more of this in the future. I want to see like more albums from this label because this label has a lot of potential. I love what Seven Lines is doing, uh, both with marketing and... Uh, Hopefully we'll get to see an Affiliate Records festival. That's like a dream of mine. Um, kind of, I kind of hoping festivals come back soon. I really miss <laughs> going to festivals and you know meeting amazing people. And with how much like melodic ba- bass has been evolving during like these two years, and especially since the beginning of the pandemic, I I hope that we come out uh, like out of this uh, mess with more ideas and more uh, creativity. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of uh, Finding Light. So I'm going to give it a 78 as a final score. Uh, I I really enjoyed it. And I think it has a lot of good stuff uh, in it. And um, I hope to see more of Last Heroes in the future. So anyways, that's all for today. I'll see you guys later and have a lot of fun. And have a good week, everybody.